Okay, you guys, what I want to do right here today is show you the big assignment that you have to do to get credit for debate. This is your case. I talked in the videos about you have a case with case side, plan side, okay? Well, this is how you actually write it out because we won't be debating in class where we're going to talk about it argumentatively. So I've already set this up if you're looking at my screen right now, and I've put the resolution in there. Now, I know I gave you three options. I just threw the gun control up there right now. The United States federal government should significantly increase gun control in all 50 states. Remember, you could pick a topic of your choice. Also, remember, you could pick the coronavirus and how it's been going on. Topicality is the next part. You could actually highlight this whole thing on your page, paste it right in there and get started, or download this, re-upload it, whatever you want to do. But you might want to wait till I get done and show you how we're going to do the outline format. Topicality, remember, is defining certain terms and how we want them to play out during the debate. I chose these four. I thought it would be should significantly increase in gun control. Now, I did not go look at online dictionaries and find terms, um, definitions that I wanted to use yet. So I'm just going to leave it there because we're not really going to worry about topicality in this case. The easiest way to do this is what I want to show you right now. As you come up here and you look at your numbers, click the little drop down. I want you to go to the Roman numeral setup right here. Okay? Click that. And for the first one, just do harms. Click your return or your enter. Go to the next one. Type inherency. Go to the next one and get your last one. Solvency. Because remember, this is all based on here's what's wrong, here's the cause. Here's how we fix it. We're not doing social media rants where we only talk about the problem. We want to know the cause and we want to know how to fix it, all backed by good quality evidence. Now, as you watch right here, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back up to harms. And because I'm not done my research yet, I'm going to call this harm A. I'm then going to hit enter again. I'm going to go harm B. Shoot down to here. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to tab it in. I'm going to go harm A. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go harm B. Now, some of you are probably smarter than me. You might want to come up here, command copy. So when you get down here to solvency, you just paste. But see what it does? You got to bop it in there. Okay? Otherwise, it's going to be messed up. That's your basic outline. Okay? So for harm A, what you would write out is you may say, too many people are dying with guns. Now, remember, inherency A is the cause of harm A. What's the cause of that? Is it because of mental illness? Is it because of bullying? Is it because of lack of gun control? Solvency A solves harm A, inherency A. So if you want to put stricter gun control, if you want to have better mental health training, if you want to stop bullying campaign, that's what you're going to do. But you clearly make your statements. It's your statements that go in these spots. Underneath them, when you hit here and you tab in, I'm just going to call this evidence number one. Come down here. You got to have two pieces for each one. Evidence number two. Come down to this one. Tab in. Evidence number one. Come down here again. Evidence number two. Whoops. I did EZ, I guess. But we'll go back to it. A V. Now you can come up and do the same thing. You can copy it. Come up here. Tab in. Do your paste. Come down here, hit your enter, tab in, do your paste. Makes it a little quicker because you're going to go in and fill in yours for the A's and B's and for the ones and twos as you cut and paste your stuff in. Okay. Now remember, this is case side. So as we do that, I could probably come right up here and I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to call this, whoops, case side. Plan side is going to be totally different. I'm going to show you that in a different video. So here we go. Bottom line is harm A. Here's what you see is wrong. Inherency A, this is the cause of harm A. Solvency A solves these. Go back up, harm B, this is what's wrong. Inherency B, this is what's causing harm B. Solvency B solves both. That's your case side setup. 